I'm the Vlog Squad's most tattooed member, Scotty Sire, and today I'm going to be judging the Vlog Squad tattoos. The Vlog Squad's tattoos. F hey guys, my name is Scott Sire, and I am the most tattooed member of the Vlog Squad, and today I'm going to be judging my friend's tattoos. So I'm, I'm like painfully awkward, so this is probably going to come out painfully awkward, but that's, that's my brand. David's Vlogs, that's on Corinna's finger. That was, that was probably one of the first uh, things she's did. She did. <laughs> I think he paid her like $200 to do that. I don't think she would ever do that now. She's, she's got her own YouTube channel. <laughs> Keeping with Corinna, the Dami D on the finger. I actually can't remember what she did to get that one. It might've been a tattoo roulette. I actually have a tattoo roulette tattoo myself. It says, I love Kian Lolly, but yeah, she must have lost. <laughs> oh, and the the disgusting send help. I this was when we lived at our we called it the Denny house. It was Zane, Heath, myself, Todd, and Elton. I don't know why I put myself right in the middle there. It's supposed to come last. But <laughs> we used to get drunk pretty often and we'd go and get like drunk tattoos out on Hollywood Boulevard and you can tell that's one of them because the tattoo completely fell off. I don't think that's, it, it looks like a pink mark on his skin now because it did, it did not stick into his skin. Or his skin just hates colored tattoos. Most of these, the small shitty tattoos that, yes, they're all done on Hollywood Boulevard. Baby, what better place to get a tattoo than a going out of business sale tattoo place? Yeah, baby. Send it, send it, send it. Okay, I get it, yes. Elton and Heath used to do TFIL, a vlog series, and in it they did a bunch of crazy things, or they'd call it crazy even though it was a little smaller, exaggerated, you know, and they'd say they went and send it. And we're about to celebrate and get some TFIL tattoos. <laughs> yeah, and we're gonna have a tournament oh, here. Whoa. So, there's that. <laughs> who the fuck is Louise? <laughs> who, the, who the fuck is Louise? Who the fuck is Louise? <laughs> Another drunk Hollywood Boulevard tattoo that was done for a vlog bit. They kept on asking who is Luis, there was never a Luis. He thought it would be funny to get a random name on his leg and then be like, I don't know who Luis is. It's a beautiful tattoo, it looks great. There's a rose next to it and everything. <laughs> who the fuck is Luis? Number one showstopper. That, I think that might be one of the first like drunk tattoos that people have gotten. That was, that was, Another Hollywood Boulevard drunk tattoo. Zane was Gabby's number one fan, the number one show star. <laughs> People give like shout outs of the week, I think. And that was what she called the shout out of the week. And he got that tattoo and was like, you have to make me the shout out of the week. I made the one really dark to let you know that I am the number one showstopper and that you have to make me showstopper next week on You know YouTube. what? Yeah. Zane keeps on going. Now Zane has a full on leg full of small tattoos. Cremota, Dante, that's just a friend's name. He got tattooed on his leg for no reason. Actually, I think his friend got Zane tattooed as well. We, we never did our own tattoos. We did, most of the time, we would just uh, go out drinking and then at the end of the night, we'd be like, oh, we really want a tattoo. Then we'd end up on Hollywood Boulevard and go to like the cheapest tattoo store that stayed open late. And it was all really simple tattoos, so you didn't, didn't really matter. Ooh. Another old tradition, we, we always would text each other to go to the gym. All of us that lived in the house, it was Todd, Elton, Heath, Zane, and myself. And one morning, Zane said, Jim, with a typo, and then we all started saying Jim, instead of Jim. And he got that tattooed. It's, it's, it's crazy, he's got just a line of tattoos down his leg, just random words. There's, there isn't really any last minute, I mean, they're all kind of last minute, to be honest. Like, the, the concept is there, it's like floating around in your head, like, Ooh, it's funny that we always say Jim, but like he had never planned on getting that tattoo. It was just like that night that we decided to go get a tattoo. He was like, uh, I could get Jim and got Jim tattooed. Ooh, I actually don't know who has their diamond tattoo there. I have a diamond tattoo myself right here. We all, me, Todd, and Heath all got these diamond tattoos together because of something about April. It's like our birthstone or something. Good times. <laughs> so Zane has Cremota and Heath has Dragon. And that's just an example of their bond together. Have you guys heard the vine? 
I'm talking to you guys, but I can talk to the camera too. <laughs> no, you dumb bitch. That's a Cremoda dragon. Oh, true. Penis. Jason has the penis and Corinna has Jason Nash. Those, those are both for David's vlog as well. Most things are. Those ones are kind of cop out tattoos though because they fade away and no one can see them. Unless you do this. I wish I had one right now. Reveal. Oh, the friendship tattoos. Zane with the verified check mark and Christine Sadelko. Oh, his fell off as well. I, for I forget about some of these like moments in our life. We document everything, but it's always so funny when a tattoo falls off. I'm like, oh my God. Is there one tattoo that I think we could all share together? I mean, definitely at some point in our lives, there's probably gonna be like that one tattoo that all of us get, except for the people that don't have any tattoos, but maybe we'll, we'll hold them down and force them. That's bad, Never mind. <laughs> That's only something David would do. I don't know what we would get though. A VS, like a little initial for Vlog Squad. <laughs> procrastination. This is a toddy tattoo, he was very proud of this. He's like, I really wanna get procrastination tattooed on me. And he did. It took him a while though. Really procrastinated on it. Uh -huh. This is probably my favorite Vlog Squad tattoo of all time. My best friend Todd Smith got too much Scotty tattooed on his leg. And we were actually supposed to put this in a music video because I made a song called Scott's Plan, which was a parody of Drake's, what was it, what's the line? Brandon, do you remember? David puts his balls. And I'm in, I'm only partly. Everybody come and say shit like too much It's beautiful. We, that song got taken down for copyright, but I still perform it at uh, shows. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for coming out. Thank you for all my friends up on stage. That is my, my CK tattoo. How did you guys find this one? That's old. That's an old picture because now it's, now it's a Cheshire cat. It's totally different. I changed the meaning of it, but it used to be for the uh, kind of joke around playful gang that I was in with my friends in high school. We called ourselves the the cunt killers. <laughs> and that was a tattoo that I had said that we never tattooed ourselves, but back in the day, that was, that was one where we were at a party and one of my friends had a tattoo gun and he was just kind of tattooing people. And he tattooed that on me. <laughs> I mean, basically our life is getting the kind of revenge tattoos. We don't, we don't really care either, so it's like funny. Like if we get a bad tattoo, it's like, yes, that was a success. Tattoos are awesome for memories every time, like especially that last one, I was like, holy shit, I don't, I don't think about that often until someone brings it up, but it's cool to think about. Like a lot of those tattoos reminded me of when we all lived together in, in our first house together, so it's definitely a trip down memory lane. <laughs>